Okay, everyone, I finished doing the horns and the face, the eyes. I'm going to sew on the eyes first before I do the nose to kind of help me guide myself. You could either do the nose just by doing a circle, and I'm going to show you how to do this nose that I did. It's totally up to you um, if you want it to be like sticking out like this. Okay, guys? So to get our eyes, we're going to sew it on the same way that we did for the green monster, if you saw. We're going to divide it kind of using these lines here as a guide. I'm going to put one eye there and then my other eye here. Just kind of trying to make sure that they're going to fit there. Okay, I'm going to move this one here. And I like to pin them down so they don't move around, but that's totally up to you. And I'm just going to pin one down and then sew this one on and then do the second one. So here, these tails, you put them in the back here to hide them. I've threaded my white yarn. I'm going to start here doing the eyes going around here and I'm going to start from the bottom. If you want to keep make sure that you're not going to uh, sew both pieces, you could put a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper inside. I'm going to pull it out, not all the way out though because I want to um, leave some of that yarn here so that I could tie it off, bind it off here so I'm not going to lose my tails there. So I'm going to leave about maybe that much there. Now when I go in here, I'm going to put my hands, be careful because it really hurts if you um, uh, get yourself with that this fat needle, it's a yarn or tapestry needle. So now that I've put it in there, I'm going to go ahead and make my knot. And then you can um, trim that knot. I Sometimes I put a little dab of uh, fray check to keep it from fraying. Now that I have this here, I'm going to go ahead and sew my, my eye on. I like to go on top of the white and I don't usually go around here because I don't want the white to show uh, on the rest of my um, of my um, the blue here. So I'm just going to go here on top and just going to go in and out. Being careful not to catch the back. And so I'm going to sew from here to this little white part here to the other edge here and that's why I like to keep that um, pin in there because I want to make sure that it doesn't come out or it doesn't move my um, my eye doesn't get um, shifted around so they're going to be nice and straight and I'm just going to keep going around there oops I want to make sure I don't want to lose my thread there my yarn. If you want to use a thimble, you can if it's more comfortable for your hand. Okay, so when I get here, I'm going to remove my pin, safety pin, and put it aside. Now here, like we did in the other eye, we're going to get a little bit of stuffing. I'm just going to put it here to the bottom part of the eye there just to give it a little bit of shape there. See now when you see it sideways, it pops out. And um, you could stuff it as big as you want your eyes. Don't do it too hard or, you know, it's totally up to you the way you think your eye. So once I do that, now, I think it might need a little, maybe a tiny bit more. Oh, maybe that's okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish sewing around my eye here. And then I'm gonna come back and show you we're going to do this, the eyelid the same way we did it for, if you saw the green monster video, it's pretty much the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing this here around. Now that I have my poly, the uh, fiber fill there, the poly fill. And then I'll come back and show you how to finish doing the rest of the eyelid. So here, just continue going around the white part of your eye. And then when you get to this side, go ahead and bind off. I finished sewing the eye and then the back here, I tied it with that first, with our first um, stitch there. So now it's all nice and tight, see here? You could see it sideways, it's stuffed. And we're gonna do both eyes the same way. You can either do the white part now or do one at a time. I'm gonna show you how I do the eyelid. And for this eyelid, we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did before. I'm going to get some uh, blue yarn. I'm going to fold this over, sew the first half here, 
stuff it with stuffing and then finish sewing it here just like we did with the green uh, monster so let me get some blue yarn and I will put that eye on okay to begin I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in my blue yarn here I'm gonna fold just the edge of my lid and I don't want the whole lid um, shut so here and then you're gonna do the same thing here where you pull it out but not all the way out I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail in here so that we could tie it off okay I'm gonna hold it here to make sure it doesn't come out see the back I have a tail there and now I'm gonna go in back to my inside of my tail there oh grab those three, those pieces of yarn there my layers and now when I'm on this side then I'm gonna go ahead and bind this tie this off with a knot to keep my eyelid from unsewing okay and now once I have that I'm gonna sew probably half of my see how you you're going to get your eyelid kind of fold it down and remember what we did those the stitches in the back loops and front loops that creates that little crease for us there see and now I can bring up my yarn my needle through here and sew my eye on just like this I'm bringing it through the bottom here um, not just doing a wave because I don't want it to get the back of the beanie I don't want to sew my beanie shut okay so here bringing it out there I'm gonna this tail here I'm just gonna hide underneath there's his eyelid see how nice it shapes there I'm gonna go here and continue sewing it till about the middle and then I'm going to stop there, stuff half of my eyelid. And then finish sewing the rest of it all the way down. Let me see if I can move back so you can see a little bit better. And this, and of course, you sew this eye, the second eye, in the same way. about halfway there I'm gonna get some stuffing and I'm gonna stuff my eyelids there just to kind of make them a little bit bumpy doesn't have to be too huge there just use your fingers see how I shape the eyelid there I think maybe I put a little bit too much let me take a little bit off I don't want it to be too bad just like that I'm gonna finish stuff sewing the other half of my eye and you're gonna sew when I finish sewing this one, then I want you to sew the second eye right next to it, okay? Since I'm here, I want to make sure I fold that one there. You want to shape it. I don't think it needs more. I think that's enough stuffing for it. There. I'm going to sew this edge here like this, like I did the other side to give my eyelid shape here. And if you want to reinforce the end, you can because a lot of times they kind of come up. If it's going to tear, it's usually the corners that will come off. back in there so there's my eye okay there's one of my eyes is sewn in his eyelid I'm gonna come in the back here and tie this off here make a knot turn it around and that eye is so not okay so that's our first eye you're going to sew your next die the same way right next to it here. This is my wrong side here. So I'm going to put my next side here. And then you could use these rolls here, your um, um, rounds, to give it shape. So I'm going to put my next eye here. 
I want you to sew your next tie. I'm going to show you how we do the little eyebrows or his little, I guess they are his eyebrows. Now, here, I'm going to do it on this one and then I'm going to come back, sew my other eye on and do the same thing. So here, you're going to sew your next tie the same way. Stuff it with your, your polyfill so you could get that 3D effect. And so now here, what you're going to do to give your little bushy eyebrows, if you have fun fur, you can add a... Uh, layer of fun fur. I don't happen to have any. I'm going to go here. This is my first row of double crochet, so now the row that's next to here. I'm just going to go. You could start at either end. And I'm going to go here. Pull it through. Let's see, and I'm just going to make a knot. And then I'm going to cut this off. Okay. I know it doesn't make sense, but see it's just there. Trim it up. And I'm just going to continue going all the way around. And then when I finish, I'm just going to split apart my yarn here. That's why I say if you want to do a, a fun yarn. So I'm going to put probably like several more rows here. And it's just going to make, see when it gets fluffy, it's just going to make like little, this is kind of short. So I'm going to have to re-thread my yarn and continue doing that. So I'm going to make probably like two rows along here. See how it looks there? I don't know if you could see it. And that's going to just make your little furry thing. So I'm going to do some more so I can show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to sew my second eye. For this, I'm going to go ahead and before I start doing some more, I'm going to get a long string, maybe 20 inches, so that when I put it through here, I can just keep working without having to um, thread my needle every time. So this way, you're just going to go through the needle. Go here, make sure you match it here. Move your needle to the center. And then that's how you just keep doing it here. I'm going to go to the next little post here. I'm going to put one there and then another one here. Pull it through with my other. Usually I don't frizz them out till I finish. So here, I'm going to put my next row. There. Get closer so you can see. So I just pulled out my needle and I do do it twice because I don't want it to come out. One, and two, and that's why I said if you have fun fur, add a row of fun fur, a strand of fun fur, and then just I'm going to make this a little bit longer there. And you just keep doing like that several rows and then when you finish, I'm going to just kind of fuzzy these out. So I'm going to finish, continue doing that on this post here, and it'll just look like crazy little eyebrows. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but trust me, once I'm going to do it, I'm probably going to put like 10 more across here. Let me move out here. Oops, sorry guys, I just moved the camera wrong. So see, he's just starting to make his fuzzy eyebrows. So I'm going to finish that off, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to do the so on the horns and the nose. Okay, as you can see, I finished doing the little um, uh, little f uh, fuzzy things here. This, I just did the back half double crochet, which would be this portion here. And in each one of these, I put two little knots, one here and one there, like two of them. And that one is like this. Um, you could get your needle, or if you have a little brush or like a doll's brush, you just go and... You can just, if you want to leave it the way it is, just like that, that's fine. Um, or else you could just like fray them and it looks more furry. Like this is kind of furry. If you want to have more eyebrows, more, more than that, you can go ahead and do the second row if you want. I'm just going to be doing this one here. Put my other eye and then I'm going to put my horns. So here, like I said, if you want to uh, fray these, you could just use your needle. Just go through it there. See how it just frays. And since you've already, let me see if I can put it closer. Since you've already um, uh, knotted them, 
you just go like that and this is just you know totally optional you don't have to do that you could just leave them all and you could put more or less whatever you like I like to kind of phrase some of them to make it look kind of crazy so then you just get here and just kind of take them apart and see how it starts looking fuzzy I like that so um, and like I said if you want more fur on his eyes than this then you can go ahead and do the next row of double crochet here uh oh see guys it's not wanting to focus here let me see if I could get that there sorry about that guys so see you if you want more than that then go ahead and put more than that I'm just gonna do those two so if you wanted to do more then you would come here and do another knot here one here one here one here so you'd have like basically like four rows but see when you fluff him up it will look like that totally up to you it's your beanie so it's your your monster you do it the way you want okay and if you don't want to fray his hair like the little yarn just go ahead and leave it this way totally up to you so I'm going to go ahead and finish putting my other eyeball doing his fraying his little eyebrows here and then we'll come back and sew his horn and his nose on I think that looks good see how from the side it looks crazy Okay, everyone I finished doing his eyebrows and then I just um, see how it looks really crazy like that is like fur because I just got my yarn and just frayed it out that way and don't worry it's not gonna come apart because you tore, you already um, uh, tied it you know made your knots and then just fuzzy him up and then he has his little crazy eyebrows so now I'm just going to get some gray yarn and I put it on my tapestry needle and now we're just going to position his, his horns here on either side and I use once again these lines here as my guide so that if I put this horn here between the second and the third see here's the first round second and third if I put those there that one there then I know that here's second third that I'm gonna have to put my other one here and it helps kind of give me a balance if I want to put his horns lower you know that's up to you but um, I believe his are actually not on top they're more like maybe like here okay so then I'm gonna put it at one two I'm gonna start it at the third round and then here uh, one two and then there at the third round okay so if you want to keep it here I'm going to bring in my needle from the bottom and we want to have the pointy top little going to the top there so here's round two and three and I already stuffed my horns and then shaped them so here I'm going to come out and go back down so that I can um, tie off the bottom here okay so here's the inside so I'm going to bring this here so that I could tie this off and I could begin sewing the horns and you're just going to position them sewing them just the way you've sewn um, the face just going around the edge okay I'm going to change that a little bit now once I have my horn here if you want you can also pin it I use my hands here to hold it see there and it doesn't really look like much now but it will start taking shape Oops, guys, I hit the camera, so sorry. So now I'm going to sew my horn there. And then all we have to do is sew our, our other horn on. You can do either embroider his nose, like just embroider nose, or you could crochet it. Um, I've done it either way, and both ways looks nice. So see here, I'm just sewing it. I'm putting my hand, when I put it here, you might want to feel down here because you don't want to catch the back okay so I put it there and I'm just gonna sew it around see how it's just getting that shape there and I'm right-handed so this is a little odd but I want to make sure I don't want to catch something that's not supposed to be sewn here and I'm going through my needle to about right there. I don't want to do just the bottom because I don't want it to stretch. So I'm getting like that first little foundation chain there and going down. So I'm going to sew his horn all the way around here. And then I'm going to sew the other one the same way. I'm going to use that round there to measure where I'm supposed to be. And then um, we'll come back. You can embroider his nose 
or you could crochet it but to be quite honest it's easier to embroider it because he's got an odd shaped little nose and I did um, crochet one but I'm not happy with um, the way he looks see how that's the shape of his nose and I'm not really happy with that to be quite honest so I think I'm going to embroider his nose and I'll show you how to do that it's not too hard and then I'm going to embroider the face, his little smiling face, just like I did to my little green monster. So here, uh-oh, both of my, here and there. Make sure I come out. Going back in here. And I'm coming towards almost to the other end now. See, there it is. And going to shape his little horn okay I've done my first horn now I'm going to tie it off and then I'm going to hook sew my other horn so let me see if I can get further away can I get further away yeah so you see how his horn is there and I'm going to do the other horn okay everyone I have sewn on horns so you could see how you can just shape it this way okay and now I have gotten a little shade of like a blue gray color of um, I think it was simply Caron but just get another little remnant I doubled it and then I made my knot here and then I'm just gonna crochet I'm just gonna embroider his little nose because um, I tried to crochet a couple of his noses and I'm just was not happy with them so I mean I'm just going to do his nose it comes really close to his eyes here so here I'm just gonna go back here and go back and forth I'm going through there so that I can hold my back loop so they won't come out okay and then I'm just gonna go back and forth and just shape his nose and it starts getting a little bit wider to the bottom okay guys and it doesn't have to be perfect, you're just going to be shaping his nose. Don't do it too tight because remember you want the beanie to be able to stretch when you put it on your head. So you don't want to make it so tight that it won't get its shape anymore. So I'm just kind of doing that. Can you see that? Just shaping his nose gonna go again and then wider so can you see that so so I'm just going to cross across I'm gonna do one more time here a little bit lower and back over here I may have to add more yarn and you might have to do that okay so that's how it looks now and now here I'm just gonna do maybe to there shape his little nostril and I am going to need to have more yarn I'm already I can already see that and that's okay it's not a problem okay I'm gonna go in there and then I'm gonna tie it off in the back so I'm going to go there and then I'm going to shape another little nostril here so his nose will be just kind of like almost like a little horseshoe okay so let me tie this off here and I'm going to add a little bit more yarn and then I'll come back and finish the okay nose. guys I'm going to start doing the other half and I'm just going to do like maybe that little piece here okay go to the other side Put through there so that I could hold the other bottom part and then I'm just going to do the little nostril part here just shape the bottom part of his nose if you want to do this in black you can I just think it looks better in the gray bluish gray okay and that's it that's going to be his nose um, you can shape it more if you want it's totally up to you you could outline it I'm probably going to do 
Oop, I missed a little piece here. Could you see that right there? I missed this section there. So there, I'll go back through here. There. Just it's not perfect, but when they put it on their face, it's going to stretch. So you don't want to put it too tight. And now I'm going to go ahead and make my knot in the back. Remember, this part's not going to show. If you want to put some fray check, you can. Um, totally up to you. I like to trim it so it doesn't look so big. And then I could just dab a little bit of fray check on there. For the mouth, I'm going to do just a smiley face like this. Um, for his lips, I'm just going to use a black um, yarn and go smiley face. I'm going to guide myself by these rounds. I'll probably start here, go around, and then there. And then our little guy will be done. Let me get my black thread. Actually, black yarn. I don't know why I said thread. And we'll be done. Remember, if you're going to... If uh, I would really appreciate it if you nominated me for the YouTube on the rise I'll put the link and I'm gonna put the link for the basic beanie download pattern here and for the basic beanie video I don't have the pa written pattern for the face portion of um, Smalley yet as soon as I have it I will get it so here I'm gonna do his face using excuse me my rounds to measure I will probably begin right he around here. So I'm going to bring in my yarn there. Don't pull it out all the way. I keep saying that, but it's still the same. I'm going to bring his little smiley line there. Okay. And then on the other side, I'll go ahead and tie it. I know it looks kind of messy in the inside. If you want to, you could even put a little piece of felt to cover your yarn, but it's going to be inside the head, so I don't think it should be too much of a problem. Now here, you're just going to um, freehand a smile, okay? And the way I do that is I'm just going to go here and try to get an idea. I'm working upside down, so sorry guys. But then I just go here. And just do this kind of stitching around. You could use your your um, post as a guide. Don't do this too tight because you don't want it to. You need to have it stretch. So when you put it on your head, it'll stretch, guys. Okay. So see here, I'm just going around like that. And the stitch that I'm using, I don't even just a running stitch like this, just a backward stitch there. Just going through my post and then. Once I have that, I'll go across the same round here, this, this row. You don't want to go lower than this because then you won't be able to see it. If you go lower than your first round, you're not going to see that smile. And then I'm going to go to the outside of his eye, all the way up here, just using every round there, every post as a guide. Let me flip them around so you can see what it's looking like. See that? That's all it is there. And you're using these, see his eye is like kind of, I started to smile like a little bit, like kind of in the corner of his eye. So then here, I know I'm going to have to go like to here, okay? So now here, I'm going to go ahead and kind of begin bringing his smile up. Maybe not quite as high there. Bring it there. Up. Hopefully I'll have enough. And it's going to go up to this round, see here? So I'm just going to follow that line. And I know that this is going to be, when I get to that line, that's my last space there I think I I may have enough yeah so that's my last space there I'm gonna go in here and then make his line the little smile line here go in 
Oh, I think that's too big. Yeah, that's a little bit. Let me bring it back in. I think that's a little bit too far out. Uh, okay. And I think maybe just like two, a little bit less right there. Bring out my smile. And then on my other side here, then I'm going to go ahead and grab my yarn and then just make my little knot there. Okay. It's a little piece of gray thread there. I don't know from what. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to sew in my tails. And he is finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry about the camera. I'm trying to hold it at myself. It's really, this color is more like a teal, tealish color. I don't know why the lights are making it look really blue right now. So let me see if I could go as far back as you could see. So see him sideways. He is 3D. His horns, his little fuzzy eyebrows. And if you want to put more fur there, just keep doing more rows, okay? And I embroidered his nose. It was a lot easier than trying to crochet it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. And please, I need your help to grow my channel. Please share my videos with your friends and family and ask them to subscribe. And thank you so much. Have a great day. Remember, God loves you.